the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Lutz puts this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. But sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Eagles send out their punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Take it at the 37. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. 
Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him at contract time. It's caught at the 10. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there, 51 yards, and the Saints add on to their lead. Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Lutz now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Play action. Now wins. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Wentz. Rolling to his right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 39 that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Great 15, great 15. Wentz now on first down. Flush to his right. And that's incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Hey, four down, four down. On second down, here's Mixon. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Sliding out of the pocket. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. He's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very yeah, well. Yeah, you don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just kind of a jab no, in the back. No, no, yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken Great down 15, for him. Wentz now five straight completions Mike, Mike. here in this second half. First and ten. Wentz. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. He'd had some success as a runner previously on this drive, just not as much space there that time. Yeah, this time when he pulled it down, they were ready for him. So I think he's going to have to fling a few in order to open up that running lane again. Dumps it off to Mixon. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. 
And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback now. naturally go. will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. They'll run with Mixon, and he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. And yeah, the Saints signal for another timeout. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll give it to Mixon, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. Now they'll throw it. Wentz flushed out right. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball. A little dangerous. Could have been picked. Now it's third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? is caught touchdown philadelphia christian kirk his second touchdown of the night and the eagles get a score closer i know paul revere talked about by land or by sea right you know one by land two by sea he didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big time performance aren't we that's two touchdowns so far in this game where'd you pull that one from and you know every now and then i actually listened in history class <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around you're reading all the time i like that you fit that into the broadcast <laughs> you know i just grab a nugget when i can This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. So that Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught out left by Perriman. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Frank Clark in there to sack him for a loss of six. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Saints on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 16. Now back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. 
And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And now running right through it. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. They fake the give. Now wins. Staying on his feet, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Malik McDowell able to drop it for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Alert, alert. Three down, three down. Run, run. Now Wentz. Got to have this one. And that is incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Saints will have the football back. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Set up to throw. Throw left side, complete to Ross. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. Time for a break. Back with more in the NFC Championship game after this. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. From the 21, it's second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here, escaping the pressure right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. to 
throw. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision, and boy, what a catch and move right there. In a tough spot to get it over the middle. Here we go! Brad 38! Brad 38! Cut. They'll look to throw again, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints' touchdown. Bucky Hodges, a seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Saints now add six to their lead, and he knocks it through. Lutz now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here. here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. No gain and it's second down. Now you got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Well, that was a simple throw. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 15, and it's a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Lutz with the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Right, Let's just be frank. Two. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left, because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see him. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trey Hendrickson in there to drop him for his second sack hey, now here tonight. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Black, black, come on. On third and long, it's wins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desk. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the... And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Now Hundley. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. 